this is a box of motorcycle accessories, we'll call them. A couple of side bags. Now, I've been meaning to put that box up in the rafters, but I haven't really done it yet. Why there? Because that's over the motorcycle, so it just kind of makes sense. I make videos in my garage, but this is about the garage itself. I never really explain why I do the things I do as far as hanging random things in the garage. Maybe I could help shed some light on it, give it a little clarification what's inside my brain. I like the floor to be relatively neat. Even after like some type of woodworking project, I'm usually quick, I'm usually quick to clean the dust off the floor. Being as I like things off the floor as much as possible, I try to utilize the overhead space within its limits to kind of kind of keep things that I don't use very often out of the way. Okay, so up in the rafters, deep storage, long long-term storage. A motorcycle part, spools of wire, boat motors, big white coolers. Stuff that's used maybe sometimes throughout the year. That back wall here, well, uh, it's like a side wall. The wall where the house meets the garage. The interesting thing about that wall is it used to be covered in the original siding of the house. When we moved in, the fire inspector said, no, take that siding off because it's way too flammable and put up drywall. It used to look really cool. I mean, it was like you'd come out the door and you were outside, but also inside at the same time. Old Starbucks logo, Bruce Springsteen poster. This shelf, which was made by my wife's father. When we moved into this house, I kind of turned it into a car care and cleaner shelf and whatever else could kind of go on it, so. I'm saving the best of the garage for last. These walls, they're not my favorite. Irrigation control, spare Italian flag, car wash stuff, tar from the trash, temporary skateboard rack, broom slash BB guns, Bikes. Not a fan of the bikes in the garage, but I have to compromise. I mean, I can't take the entire garage, right? Now behind this door, rope, chain, and sling collection. Trash cans. Now, trash can wall. Now, I don't need three big 96 gallon trash cans in the garage, but it's really just the best place for them. It is convenient when throwing woodworking scraps out and things of that nature, so. Tool chest, miscellaneous mechanics tools, spray paint shelf, bench grinder, DeWalt slide miter, wood finishes and fillers, and the bench, here's bench lights. And planes, 15 receptacles, putty knives, books, some for decoration, some have been used from time to time. This entire shelf here is all aesthetic. I don't use anything on that shelf, above the books right here. Stereo system with a passive subwoofer and 3.1 audio. Right there, and right there. Bose Model 100s. I think that's what they're called. Worm drive. Uh, some stuff. Benchtop belt sander. A little vise. Mini fridge. Uh, mostly just seltzer in it. Now these shelves are made out of plywood. I made them recently. And I really just kind of made them because this space right here was like a dumping ground. I really didn't care for it. So I figured let me just take some plywood and even if I don't use it for actual storage, it'll look a lot nicer. Back to this thing, the canoe, I've probably mentioned it in a video. It was made by my wife's uncle, and it needs to be refiberized. It needs kind of a fair amount of work, and I just couldn't see it get thrown out. This is the fastener shelf. It's kind of organized. 
screws are with screws, nails are with nails, but that's about it. And this is miscellaneous hardware here. It's really supposed to be like nothing on it's hidden, so you can kind of, you don't have to rum it, you just browse, look. Now, up top here, this is where I have tools that I use somewhat frequently, but not too frequently. The tools that I use the most, as far as carpentry goes, are all down here. Pneumatic nail guns, wet saw, sander, miter saws. The name of the game, I, I don't like, I really don't care for those super neat and clean woodworking shops in pole buildings where, you know, everything is just like store-bought wooden shelves or manufactured metal shelves. I mean, I can appreciate it to an extent, but I really like the warmth that like a haphazardly decorated shop provides. Now, at the same time, I really am kind of OCD about keeping it clean out here. So, I like it overly decorated, but super organized. So yeah, I didn't really turn on a lot of lights in here because I figured this is more of like a behind the scenes video. If anyone has watched my videos and ever wondered a little more about this space, why things are the way they are, I hope this was a little bit of a closer look into the organized chaos that is this workshop. So, thanks for watching.